If you're in business as an IT consultant, you have no excuse for not having your own domain name. If domain registration and hosting breaks your bank, then you shouldn't be in this business. Nothing says, I'm not really serious, like an account on Hotmail, Yahoo, especially AOL.com, and even Gmail.com, unless you're a Google employee. Not that you can't also have one of those addresses, except AOL.com. What were you thinking? But don't use it professionally. When choosing your domain name, you should use the name of your business. If your business doesn't have a name, get one. Even if it's just your name here consulting, you should present yourself as a commercial entity. If you feel that your business name is too long for a domain name, you should make sure your abbreviation seems natural and obvious. Also, watch out for unintended words that arise from combining abbreviations. You wouldn't want to abbreviate Megara Associates Inc. as Megastink.com, for example. I've seen some independents who treat their domain name like a 1-800 number. They make it into an ad. Domains like PeoriaComputerWiz.com may be cute, but unless it's also the name of your business, your client will have one more thing to remember when they want to contact you. Was it PeoriaComputerGuy.com or PeoriaPCGuy.com or wait? Isn't their office in Pekin? For the top-level domain, TLD, I think .com is preferable. It means commercial. You're in business here, aren't you? And despite being U.S. in origin, it has international applicability. It's also what flies off people's fingers automatically when they're typing a domain. If you limit your business to one country or region, then a nation-specific commercial TLD could be appropriate. The .org TLD says, I'm a nonprofit, even though you don't have to use it for that. The .net TLD is a little better, but people tend to infer some sort of online community instead of a business. You should avoid .biz and .info. The spammers polluted that space years ago. And your emails will get filtered for that reason alone. Certain sectors of business have their own TLDs they could use. For example, .fashion, .buzz, .finance, .estate, .inc, .pet, .info, .pro. The list goes on and on and on. You can even purchase multiple TLDs and redirect them all to one. That way, no one ever misses out on what you have to offer. For the local part of your email address, the part preceding the at, I suggest just using your name. I don't care if it's your first name, your last name, or first.last name, as long as it's your name. An internet pseudonym comes across as unprofessional here. On the other end of the spectrum, sales at or info at seems too impersonal. Sure, you can establish these addresses to catch the wayward or the cold contacts, but when you give a customer your email address, it's a good idea to make it like a handshake. So, how does your email address compare with these criteria?